What's up everybody? Wow, okay. Um, today is an update day. I got a CT scan and we are going to see uh, if I need more chemo or not, which I think I do, but this will tell me how much progress we made after nine cycles of chemo. We will catch you in the office. Let's go. All right, we back. Yeah, we back. All right. What's the progress? The clear thing that you could see is in the bones. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Where the arrow is, yeah. It's a bit more clear now. Okay. This That's one on the right side. So what does side. that mean? It's a healing bone metastatic process. You already had, this is where I think we did the biopsy, right? right? So it's more clear. It's about the same, no change. And so also here, it's more clear. You can see the spot. Mm -hmm. So those are only two spots in the bones that they can describe to and compare to the previous one. Okay. So stable or healing, the way they say. I think it is clinically also you have less pain or hardly any pain compared yeah, to what it used like to be. But not like the way it used to. The rest of the things I cannot tell clearly because uh, I must have don't know how to. So for example, little haziness here. I, I don't know why some other areas are not same like this. In what region is this? Lungs you said? In the lung. So this is the right lung, this is the left lung. So <coughs> haziness in the right upper lobe, left upper lobe and little bit nodule like thing in the left lower lobe. They think it is probably inflammation or infection but they could not tell 100%. Okay, so they're not sure if it, so is, they're not sure. If it has and then, nest in that region or not. Correct. They think it is less likely. And here, the where the problem was, the thickness, I cannot tell myself when I look all the way down. So if you follow, see, this is the... That's the subway, yeah. Subways. So the thickness in this area, they didn't mark it for me, but I don't know. I'll just go by what they reported it. So when compared to January CT scan, it was 17 millimeters, whatever that was. Now it is down to nine millimeters. Mm -hmm. And then a tiny lymph node right next to that, another tiny lymph node, eight millimeters, 13 millimeters, no change, about the same. So overall it is better. They yeah. don't find anything new. Yeah. And the yeah. tiny lymph nodes are either same or maybe dead, I don't know, but uh, PET scan would have given us uh, more idea as to mm -hmm. whether these areas are active or mm -hmm. not. And clinically, and these are very small, I don't know if they would have light up on the PET scan also mm -hmm. or not. And this lymph node also. If the PET scan had a very bright uptake on this tiny mm -hmm. lymph node, then we think it is still active. But otherwise, I don't know. All this is based on the size criteria. So you cannot tell 100%. So I would just, interpret this as significant improvement yeah, for in sure. the primary yes. and I don't see anything new Thank which God. is also a good thing so the question now is should we continue for another two three months a similar way you're asking yeah. me for my what I think yes we should keep going as and much as I'm already brutal. as long as <laughs> you are able to tolerate the keep okay yeah I mean I'm always warm and cold now because of one tingling numbness yeah, so I have some numbness, especially, it's more prominent on my middle finger. Uh -huh. But I do have some residual on the other four digits on both hands. You're Sometimes able to I'm still with the button shirt. and type and stuff. It's a little uncomfortable during the chemo, but then I After recover. The and then now both eyes are teary. Mm, that's which is chemo. Really, yeah, which is really annoying, but it's. All not, the time? Yes. Yeah, so it's like kind of building up right now, actually. Any swelling in your feet? Uh, feet, no, but uh, sometimes I've noticed it in my hands just a little bit where they feel bigger than usual. But I've also started to work out, which could explain the inflamedness. Some discomfort here every once in a while where I'll notice it and some sensitivity when I touch a little bit. More prominent during the chemo and when I recover. No role for radiation right now because no trouble swallowing food. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. So I don't think it's a good idea to radiate to this radiate region either. Right now. There's just so much stuff. If we were going to radiate, it would be here or here. Well, but if there is no pain, we would yeah. not recommend radiation there yeah. either. Yeah, At just some, some point, I wanted to stop chemo and just give only Herceptin, but 
question is what is that point? If you're tolerating okay, I would uh, stay the course and give at least another one or two rounds. I agree. Maybe okay. after like 12. So you have... I like the number 12. Uh, approximately <laughs> 8 cycles right here. Yeah, 8 with the new, eight 9 with including the, new, the nine first. 9 with yeah. that one. So let's say another 3 including 9 let's say. Okay. Let's say and then... That so how is he doing good. according to you guys? He's doing very good. Very good. I mean, you know, he is good, you know. After chemo, he is, you know, like a normal, you know. Yeah, I'm not as normal. A normal kid. That's <laughs> a big, big improvement. It's just these side effects are becoming more prominent now. And then in terms of the, the gym, I'm, I'm taking it easy on legs. But upper body, I'm still kind of on course with okay. uh, my regimen, which is fine. The only the only bad part is that these blotches become more prominent every time I lift. Right, because Cause when I handle the weights, yeah. the yeah. Yeah. blood, and I think Does that's it why it's more. It's, more, it's a bit sensitive when I press down. They're more swelly because I'm lifting, but I've gained strength yeah, for sure. Injured. Upper body strength. Like I remember a month ago. Doing one push-up was terrible, and now I can do three, four sets, three repetitions for push-ups. So I'm definitely getting strength in, in that body. And even the legs too, whenever I train them even lightly. No deadlifts or anything like that yet. Make sure it doesn't hurt yeah. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're done with exercise, do you hurt more than usual? It becomes more noticeable, but nothing debilitating. Like, when I like stretch right here, like I'll feel some discomfort here which is probably what that is. But it's nothing like crazy, you know? It's usually when I stretch it, stretch that region out. Don't do it. So like yesterday, I I just did body weight and I worked on my inner leg a little bit because I have some knee stuff here. Any pain medications at all? No. Okay. You want to do chemotherapy now that it is kind of uh, stable? Three weeks? Three more cycles, let's go to 12. Right, number one. Number two, we are giving chemo like every two weeks, like intense, back okay. to back, back yeah. to back, from like almost eight cycles. So now do you think, hmm, you, you're okay if we make it a little bit more space here, give another extra week for, no, for let's the next do it. two cycles? Let's keep going. Okay. What do you think, Dr. Jenna? Either way, I'm okay. It's, the good thing is, is um, tolerating the chemotherapy okay overall, of course, there's more side effects they're adding up. Yeah, they are. And luckily, the blood counts are still cooperating. I have been eating a oh, so now. There's no right or wrong answer. Now that we have a scan after we start a treatment, besides whatever he tells in terms of improvement in his symptoms, we have a scan also which is overall stable or slightly better, if any. It's okay to give a little bit extra cushion in between the yeah. chemotherapy so that you bounce back even better with the side effects and things like that. Yeah, so awesome. definitely today, let's get one. And then, uh, depending on, so the next one will be July 3rd, one, two. Do July 10th. July 10th instead, which yeah. is okay. July 10th. So that you have that extra week off uh, for that week. Mm -hmm. And then after that, the next one will be the 31st. One week extra, one week yeah. extra kind of thing. Just a face so, that you, so, you can. so that you have some time to recuperate instead yeah. of getting hit back to back. Yeah. Pounding. But it's so much fun when you're doing backhand and forehand at the same time, you know? Yeah, I know. I'm trying to think, I'm, like in terms of me fitness-wise, that would be optimal. Because now I can clock in an extra week and get better. But at the same See, time... See, at the same token, uh, the goals are different. Uh, and. Um, if it is uh, something that is curable to the point that yes, let's beat left and right mm -hmm. um, and, and then <clears throat> go from there so that yeah, we are done and we we've kind of stuck to our game plan. And let's see. This is the stage four, no matter how much ever hard I beat, yeah. um, I got whatever I could so far here. By beating you left and right in these next two or three cycles, Will I get the same momentum that I had? Probably not. That's true. Number one. Number two, I'll be probably adding up more side effects to the point that I make you more weaker, more mm -hmm. side effects, this and that. Mm -hmm. So now I need to plan my, my for my future mm -hmm. uh, yeah. in that way, trying to stack the deck properly so that I don't beat you up left and right at the same token, uh, gave you more side effects, and then jeopardize more yeah. things to come.
that yeah. we've spoken about. Space it about. You want to space it so out? So yeah. with this, uh, yeah, Spacing. this is not an un unreasonable thing to do yeah. and, and then go from there. Because ultimately my goal is to get rid of chemo and just give only Herceptin. Let's see how your body does and then with that extra let's week. see that okay. one week no big deal. So we'll do nine today. Because what worries me is this is getting there now. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, this is so. More so if I do that, and uh, sometimes the more chemotherapy can cause more trouble with the liver issues and things like okay. that. Okay, so then we'll space it out. So what we're doing today, though. We are doing today, and then I'll come back. And then days. instead of uh, July third, go for July tenth, and, and then after then that, July thirty first. I'll see you on July thirty first. Okay. Then and we we'll plan accordingly. Okay. I like okay. that. So you won't see me on 10th, right? We'll see, see me on the 31st. Instead. I'll see you on July okay. 31st, like six weeks, right? And then we plan accordingly after that.